Hey guys, it's Mary Taylor, Day with Kingdom Blueprint. Um, the Lord put on my heart a word, actually a vision that he gave me for this season that a lot of us are about to be going through or might be going through right now. And so to encourage you guys, I saw the vision of a birthing canal and I'm on the end of the birthing canal and I'm seeing the harvest, I'm seeing the new season, I'm seeing the milk and honey, I'm seeing the new that's coming, that he's been promising. However, in order to get out of the birthing canal, he said, you need to have hands free to praise me, hands free to serve me. And he had explained to me the last three years, the battle strategies, the weapons of warfare spiritually that I had equipped myself with, that Holy Spirit had taught me the blueprints, the mindsets, the behavioral patterns, everything that I had done and been a part of the last three years, I had to be able to put down in the birthing canal because those are things of the past and they can't go where he's taking me. And so I know a lot of us are excited because he's telling us that good things are on the way, right? Um, restoration, restoration of marriage, restoration of finances. There's a shift in power going on. There's a shift. Those that were fir those that were last will be first. Those that were first will be last. There is definitely a transfer going on in the spirit and a transition taking place. And so in that, we need to be really mindful that that also means we have a new wineskin. So as he's preparing a new wineskin, the processes that we used in the past seasons is not going to work. And so I sat with the Lord for a little bit and I was like, okay, you know, I have to really identify what weapons did I use for the battles I had. The battles coming are going to be different. We need fresh blueprints, right? New Rama from the Lord, from heaven. So we need to be able to sit with him and ask him, what are, what are we going into? What is it going to look like? But he is doing a new thing. So if God says, I'm doing a new thing, it's something no one's ever seen before. Um, I know something specific that I believe is different that he's doing is this forced rest. You know, before when it came to, I knew of a season that was coming or he'd tell me what season I was in, I knew how to partner with him. And I knew the action steps to take to partner with him in those seasons. I believe this, this new season, this new era that we're coming into, those action steps are now going to be different because God is wanting to come through more supernaturally for his children where we just get to sit and rest. We get to worship. We get to praise him and he's going to open doors. He's going to make a way. He's going to do things that's not going to require an action step from us. And so a lot of us, I, I know you guys have heard my word um, that he put out there was this forced rest. A lot of us are being placed into this forced rest season. A lot of daughters even because of headship roles that we had, had taken on, right? He doesn't want his daughters having any headship roles. We're out of alignment. Now his grace is on it. For a season when my husband and I were not together and I was kind of the head of the home, not really me, right? The Lord was, but I was taking care of the things. I took on a headship role. His grace was on me taking on the headship role that season because God was my husband that season, amen? But when God restored my marriage, the headship role shifted. God is the head, but my husband is the head of the home. So all headship roles were taken, were removed. And so it's going to look different for all of us, whether you're a man or a woman, however God is speaking to you, your role is going to be different this season. So we really need to sit with the Lord and we need to be ready for it. Um, I know a lot of people have released words for 2024. The biggest thing the Lord put on my heart is to stay off the news, keep my eyes on him and stay focused on who he is and who his character, right? What his character represents. So that is something that I have been doing and that is something that I'm going to be obedient and continuing to do because there's a lot of chaos and confusion around us because God is exposing very high level, deep um, channels, deep <laughs> things in the country, in the world that some very high up people had their pocket in. And God is exposing those things. I'm not going to release names. I'm not going to do that. But 
He is exposing those things. So we need to be prepared and we need to be aware of them. But he said, do not let fear, do not let doubt, do not let worry come near you. And so that's going to be the tactic of the enemy. As we see things shifting and realigning in the world around us, fear, doubt, and worry are going to try to catch us, are going to try to get us caught up in looking around and not keeping our eyes on him. And so just to kind of be mindful of that, as you see him coming through, this is an answer to our prayers. The blood, the innocent blood that has been shed in this world God is coming for vindication. We are going to see justice. We are going to see his righteous judgment in the earth. And as his people, we should not worry. We should praise him because this is an answer to our prayers. However, we need to be aware that the enemy is crafty, right? He's crafty. So he's going to use media. He's going to use devices. He's going to use things of distraction that he knows distracts us from staying focused on our creator. Amen. So I just wanted to share that quick word with you. Um, Day by day is the kingdom way. I know that's our slogan for kingdom blueprint, but that's what he's told me. And it's true. Day by day is the kingdom way. Back to Adam and Eve in the garden, they didn't focus on the next day. They weren't worried about tomorrow. They weren't worried about how they were going to eat and how they were going to be provided for because they were in the garden with the Lord. You know, so it's unfortunate (laughs) that Eve ate the fruit, but before she had done that, when they were in the garden, they had no worries. They had no cares. They had no doubt. They had no fear. They were unaware of the things around them because they had a father that was protecting and providing for them. He's pulling his children back into that, right? We need to be mindful that if we're in the garden with the Lord, right, we're safe. No matter what the news says, no matter what the to TV says, no matter what is being thrown all around, we are safe because we serve God right? Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Savior. So we serve a different God. And so there is nothing to worry about because we have eternity to look forward to. So this is preparation for the harvest of souls coming and we need to be ready, but be excited for what God is doing. You know, be careful. There's a lot of words about fear and there's a lot of words inciting fear and fear mongering that are being taken If the Lord is not telling you to listen to that person, if the Lord is not telling you to watch that, don't do it. Be very mindful and follow the word. Follow and be obedient to what he is saying. I am pulling back a lot. I'm not on social media as much. Um, I spend a lot of time with my family, but it's the fact of, God, if you tell me to watch that person, I'll watch them. If you tell me to read that, I'll read it. But if you don't, I'm not going to. Because we don't need any distractions. We need to stay focused on what he's calling us to do this season. Because every single one of us has a purpose. And he has a plan for us in our life. Amen. And we have something to bring to this world. But everybody's going to be different. You might get some words from people. And you know what? God is calling them to release those words right now. That is their anointing. That is their calling. That is their authority. But if he's not calling you to watch it. He's not calling you to get behind that. Don't. You need to stay focused on hearing, hearing his voice, staying focused on peace and joy and not letting the ways of the world try to conform you because we've been renewed. Our mind has been renewed by the transforming of reading his word. Amen. So I hope this encourages you guys. I'm excited for all that God is doing. He is faithful. He is good. He is merciful. Stay focused on him. 2024, he is going to be the open door we get to walk through. Amen. Talk soon. Bye.